Hello, and welcome back to Bears Broadcast. I'm Braden. And I'm Nevaeh. And we're bringing you the 133rd announcement of this school year. As you might have noticed, the Bears Broadcast crew got a grant for $100,000. So, obviously, I took the initiative to buy the suit for $40,000. Might, you know, do a little exploring after that. Uh, in other news, the yearbook staff is accepting senior salutes for 2024 graduates. This Saturday, there was regionals for solo and ensembles in Atchison. Wish the band and choir good luck. Prom flower order forms are due by April 12th. Speaking of prom flowers, Miss Lukert's flower hour flexes will be available. These flexes give students the opportunity to learn how to make a corsage and boutonniere for prom. Keep an eye out and sign up. Reminder to prom eligible students, SMHS has a prom closet with multiple different dresses of varying styles. If you want a dress, then contact Miss Searcy. Now off to sports with Reagan. Hi, I'm Reagan with sports. Today there's a JV golf meet at Silver Lake at 3. Baseball and softball games in Onega tomorrow at 4.30. Tomorrow there's a track meet in Royal Valley at 4. Thursday there are baseball and softball games against Rossville at 1. A JV golf meet in Wamego at 1. Junior high track at home. A boys golf in Osage City at 3. And a high school track meet at Rock Creek at 3. Back to you guys. Thank you for that news, rec news report. Today is the big solar eclipse we've, been all, we've all been hearing about, but safety is important. So here's a cautionary tale from the broadcasters. Good news, everybody. Our eclipse glasses came in, so now we can safely look at the eclipse today. What? Eclipse glasses? Really? No, nah, that's not how you do it. You have to watch the solar eclipse without sunglasses. I'm going to show you how. There's a door there. All right, so it turns out staring at the sun hurts. And I have to wear these prescription eye goggles, but that's boring. I'm gonna show you how to survive permanent eye dilation without sunglasses. Ugh! Happy birthday over the weekend to Brandon Brownell and Izzy Freeman. Today's lunch is chicken nuggets and tomorrow's lunch is walking taco. Your useless information for today is in a Peanuts comic strip in 1972. Peppermint Patty revealed that her na real name is Patri Patricia Rykard. That's a plot twist. Well, that's all the time we have for you today. I'm Brayden. And I'm Nevaeh. And, and you, you keep looking sharp, St. Mary's.